showcasing a bit of recent diving um, on the North Island of New Zealand and um, it's, uh, it's purely uh, spearfishing snapper. These fish are my favourite species to, um, to hunt because uh, they're very elusive fish and uh, they don't tolerate the sight of spear fishermen unless you're in a marine reserve obviously where they've, where they've got used to people. Um, yeah, if they, uh, if they were a fish like the kingfish or, or other fish that school you and come up for a look um, I don't think they'd be as sought after, but uh, obviously they're, uh, they're very elusive and they're, uh, you know, it, takes, uh, it takes a good few couple of years to learn how to really um, to hunt them properly. And uh, we're very lucky here in New Zealand, our underwater structure can lend itself to hunting snapper uh, very well. Uh, because we have quite long kelp stalks, uh, they're easy to hold on to in the current so you don't get pulled over ledges and things. Um, we have nice steep ledges that you can pair over and have the sunlight coming over you so that the um, fish can't see up at you. And um, yep, you can use those kelp as sort of ground blinds and get right in there and yep, the fish don't see you coming. You know, if you, if you, if you make a bit of noise or you, and you, you, you have your gun out a bit far or you, you know, you do anything silly, they, they sort of get onto you pretty quickly. Yeah, summer's a pretty good time for it. I've uh, been in NZ since um, the start of uh, October. And uh, yep, yeah, just doing a bit of spearfishing here over summer, and uh, I was pretty happy to uh, to come here and, and get back into the snapper because it's something that I've really missed um, since being on the Gold Coast. Me and my mate Ollie went out uh, to the hen. It was pretty dirty. Uh, it was after a big blow, and anyway, got out there, sort of um, got back into uh, getting used to hunting them. I, I found a good good bit of looking terrain, nice uh, ledge with a, a nice deep area nearby for them. Um, just smashed that sort of 20, well, 20,000 and 20 kinna, bug it off, um, had a look for some other fish in that, and um, come back and um, there was a nice little uh, panty feeding on the uh, kinna. So, um, yep, top down them, boom, stoked ass, a real good eating fish, and uh, yep, we moved on to another spot because the swell was getting up, and uh, I got down into this gut here. Uh, heaps of bait and um, really promising looking uh, gut. I come around a, a corner just hiding down in the kelp stalks and this uh, snapper was just sleeping uh, just at the base of the gut and I put one in them. Um, and when they're sleeping like that it's uh, you know it's pretty um, interesting when you come onto them because they um, you know they just they just completely switched off but uh, yeah um, often uh, they wake up very very quickly and they uh, they run like kelp so Anyway, got those two fish, pretty happy about that. Um, um, got one on the snoop, so um, after that, uh, got invited out by some southern boys um, to the Mokes. I've only been there a few times, but um, every time, you know, it's just amazing because it's, uh, it's, it's, just, it's just so far out and it's got deep water nearby, it's just loaded with good fish. So, um, yep, we got up there and uh, got out the back and uh, did a bit of diving. Uh, one of the boys shot a real good kingy um, on the first drop, up around the 40 kilo mark, and uh, I'd seen a very good snapper sign over some of the um, some of the deeper ledges. So um, what I do is uh, just just break a few kinner open when you see the good sign, uh, throw it in the air, uh, and try to let it sink down over those ledges. You really want to find the fish first if you're doing this. Any fish in the vicinity, if you haven't spooked them. Uh, and the ledge is quite deep, they can't see you from, from down there, uh, you, you can sort of pull them in a bit. Um, yep, I got down on my first drop and um, snuck quietly uh, down over, over this ledge here. And um, I mean, there's a lot of snapper uh, over it, I was very surprised. And um, yep, smacked this boy over um, and it was just over the moon. Uh, 20 pound fish, 
And then, uh, yep, got them on. Stoked as, sort of uh, contemplating moving. And I thought I'd uh, do just another drop there. I just waited a quarter of an hour and just chucked a few more kinna, let them sink. And then, uh, yep, down there, straight over the, uh, uh, the ledge. And then uh, I've seen this real big fish. He, he was just a monster. Really wanted him, but I'd have to. Uh, I would have had to push out in front of all the others, and uh, I think they would have all scattered. Also, you know, you want to get up close to them, so you know you've got that good shot on them. Otherwise, you just wound a big old fish like that and lose them. It's pretty pretty depressing. So, uh, yep, just uh, chose to take this boy. Um, he was an 18 pounder and he was just dwarfed by that big fella so uh, yeah it would have been interesting to know um, really how big, big that uh, big Boeing was out there just sitting in the open there and uh, yeah didn't go have another look over um, two is just an awesome feed you know uh, fill it in their mouth and, and you know we've just been sussed for uh, for uh, the Christmas and New Year period with all this, uh, all this snapper so anyway got out uh, about uh, five or six days later uh, out to the chicks uh, with my mate Nick. Yeah, I've been doing a bit of snooping. I've seen a couple of good fish, uh, sort of around the five, six kilo, just tucked into the weed. And uh, that was sort of a good sign that there was snapper there. And then what I did was um, crush up about a dozen kinder on the bottom. And then, uh, yeah, take off and uh, go do some other mucking around. Um, it was pretty good when I come back over this ledge here. Um, got down and um, I actually uh, spooked really nice fish, but yep, I got really lucky. This boy was tucked down in the weed there, um, and um, he showed himself here, and then uh, yep, smacked him. Oh. Real nice to know that that, that flopper had gone all the way through because often when they're really low on the um, on the ground there, um, your spear can smash into the reef and, and you can lose the fish quite easily, which isn't good. But yep, yeah, this one got the whole way through, put up a good fight for a couple of minutes and then uh, got him. And uh, this boy was uh, low 17 pounds, so just a beautiful fish, a uh, beautiful eater. Um, I freshened up the burley with a few more kinna and then uh, yep, yeah, bug it off. Come back a little while later. Just get a few more snapper out of there, and then um, I got another one. Um, his mates had sort of run out of there, and, and he was he wasn't too sure, and he turned around. Um, so I just pushed out off the uh, off the weed and smacked him, and uh, yeah, just pretty stoked with that. Three to four kilo, yeah, just a beauty eater as well. My mate Nick, he'd been doing the same thing over the other side there. He uh, had knocked a good fish as well, low 17 pound as well, probably probably half a k away, and uh, yep, a couple of clones. So got them. Stoked as. So yeah, after that, I've been getting out uh, to my local spot, uh, Teru Teru Martini, um, in Auckland's Hauraki Golf. It's been really fishy. Um, it's been jam packed with kingfish. Every spot I'm going to, I'm seeing um, seeing really large schools of kingies. I never really take them there. Um, they're quite an easy fish to shoot out there, and they don't get huge. Um, you know, the biggest I've seen come out of there is sort of just over 20 kilos. And uh, you do see the old big, old big one, but. Um, yeah, it's just not really worth it. All the sharks are out there uh, at big numbers this time of year and um, it becomes very hard to land fish. Um, a few of my mates have been a bit trigger happy and um, got some pretty um, interesting situations. And uh, yeah, I prefer to hunt the snapper out there. It's a bit more rewarding. I've been checking a few, um, a few promising ledges. Um, stumbled across um, these two fish. Um, they're a little bit spooky, they just started to sort of run. Took a shot at this boy, um, hit, him, hit him a bit low, so to play him really well. Um, played him for a while and just let him tire out a bit. And then uh, dived down the line and uh, grabbed him rather than pulling him up. 
you'd hate to see it rip through and, and swim away uh, wounded like that. So yep, got him. Uh, pretty happy about that. He'd probably be, I don't know, 10 to 12 pound or so. And uh, yep, awesome, awesome table fish. And then uh, on this other ledge here, I, uh, I had this good sized panny come up and, and have a little look. He's pretty, uh, pretty curious. Uh, he, he didn't like what he saw and then he sort of relaxed and, and, and came back in a bit. So I knocked him and uh, yep, that was pretty cool. Yep, did a bit of filleting and uh, yeah. We've been doing a bit of mucking around, pulling the jaws out of these fish and uh, sort of gluing them together and getting them mounted, so uh, that's a bit of fun. Might have to make a video on doing a bit of that soon as well. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to like and subscribe if you liked it, and uh, take it easy.